everybody i'm brother Zana david welcome this is biblical sexual purity in case you're new subscribe to my youtube channel bs purity tv and follow me on social media bs uh, biblical sexual purity visit my website biblicalsexualpurity.com i want to share with us something that is bugging my mind in case if you're not a christian and you come across this video please there are some things you may find offensive so i advise you refrain from watching uh, if you look at the society we're living in today it is like sex has been enthroned as a god uh, if i tell you that sex has been enthroned as a god you may not uh, see it uh, to be very true but by the time i finish this video you will understand what i mean a lot of Christians are worshipping God, but, but who is actually God? When the Bible says you cannot worship God and mammon at the same time, that you have to choose one and leave the other. You have to be loyal to one and leave the other. Now, why I say sex has been enthroned as God, even among believers, is that what you put first becomes your God. I have seen thousands of Christians who worship God, but when it comes to the issue of satisfying their, the, the yearning of the flesh, sexual satisfaction of the flesh, uh, they drop their Bible, they drop their God. They, they don't care. It, they can go to any land. They can go and to any land. Forget about the loss of God. They tell you, wow, when it comes to this, forget about Christianity. Forget about God. So who is now God if, if, if the Bible says that you should love the Lord with all your heart, with all your strength, and with all your mind, with everything you have? If it comes to the issue of human sexuality and you say, forget about the Bible, forget about God, then I ask you again, who is now God? Uh, it's painful that a lot of um, Bible-believing Christians and even Christian leaders no longer address these issues because they feel they don't want to offend anybody. They feel uh, people will see them as dirty. People will see them as talking bad. But I want to tell you, sex is not a dirty thing. It was created by God. God created it to be pleasurable. It is a blessing that God has given to humankind. But a lot of people have abused this blessing. A lot of people have taken it out of the marriage bed instead of making it to be holy and undefined on the marriage bed, they have taken it out of the marriage bed and sex now is on the street, it is in the club, it is in every corner of our streets today. Now, a lot of believers, uh, when it comes to obeying the commandments of God, because society has so much exalted sex, they themselves in turn have exalted sex and make it what they should obey instead of obeying God himself. It is painful that even the dressing of a lot of believers today, the dress to look sexy, the dress to look uh, sexually appealing, even when they go to church, but this is wrong. I know God is angry because we have not actually obeyed him the way we should because we are exerting sex above God and God is going to judge everybody that disobeys him. You shouldn't have enthroned your passion over God, you shouldn't exalt your passion over God because God created it. So what God has created shouldn't be worshipped. God alone deserves our worship. Uh, your pastor may not tell you this, but I tell you that God is angry. If you look at the social media, it is exalted there. Uh, in fact, now sex sells. Anybody, a lot of advertisers, they want to advertise the goods, they attach this Many God that people have created in this, especially in this 21st century, they attach it to their products because they believe if they don't advertise it using sex as a tool to advertise it, people will not actually buy their products. So we Christians, a lot of us have been carried away to begin to live our lives the same way. I want to ask this question. How many Christians live sexually pure lives? How many Christians go to the altar without going to the bed first? How many Christians still obey the commandments of God, even when it comes to um, having normal natural sex? How many Christians don't engage in, uh, in bringing unholy things into the matrimonial home? How many Christians today don't 
keep away from pollution things that pornography. I know there are lots of Christians who keep the laws of God. I'm not trying to run Christianity down, but I'm telling you in one way or the other, we are falling. even a lot of us who don't do these things. We keep silent and watch people go astray. This should not be. We have to know that uh, the Lord told me some time ago that keeping silence is as good, is as bad as Carrying at the arts, keeping silence when you know, keeping silence when you don't want to corrupt people is as bad as doing the wrong thing. So let us stand up on our right. Let's not follow the generation, this generation that is worse than Sodom and Gomorrah. Let's not follow this generation to continue to do evil because God is going to judge humanity, is going to bring everything under judgment, and He will not relent until He has paid the evil man. Thank you. Share this video. God bless you. Don't forget to follow me and subscribe. BS Purity TV on YouTube and Biblical Sexual Purity on other social media platforms. God bless you. Bye-bye.